Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah everybody Welcome back to my channels All my family, YouTube family and my new members who actually tune in Please thank you very much and you're welcome Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> So basically um, this video today is gonna be about like 30 things you gotta be able to at least achieve uh, My opinion, my list by the way at least before you turn 30, as we know, my birthday is coming up and these are the lists I feel that I believe that, you know, anyone who's about to turn 30 should definitely look into, you know, you can create your own, you know, but this is, this is just basically my personal accomplishment and achievements and I believe that it's very important for those who are still pretty young, like in their 20s, teenagers, to at least try and accomplish these before turning 30. And again, I want to appreciate all of you for your views and your comments and your likes and suggestions, especially I appreciate suggestions. Um, I appreciate you all very much and, uh, you know, I hope we just continue to, you know, build strong relationship and, uh, you know, enjoy my videos, I guess. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's get started. Well, one of the things you got to be able to accomplish before hitting the big 30 is Establish a daily prayer routine. Yes, everything starts with God and will end with God. So you gotta be able to, whether you're Christian, whether you're Muslim, Jewish, or you know, Hinduism or whatnot, uh, you gotta be able to establish daily prayer routines. We need them definitely. Second is obviously establish a self care day. You gotta have it at least, at least once in a week. Whether it be facials, whether it be massage, whether it be hair care, you know, proper body polish or whatnot, you know, you just gotta have them because as you get old, you gotta be able to, you know, maintain, uh, you know, your body because, you know, once you hit 30, a lot of things kind of like decline, so you gotta keep it up. Uh, third is establish a regular exercise routine. You know when we're still young, like in the 20s, we still got the energy, we got the vibe and all. As soon as you reach 30, things started changing. I know what I'm talking about. They change. The weight you used to, you know, be able to lose when you're in the 20s, they don't easily go up when you get to 30. So you gotta be able to establish that and basically just, you know, strengthen your body, your muscles and your bones so that when you're beyond 30, like 40s and 50s, those age will thank you. Number four is plan an international trip. You know, some of us are so like very comfortable in our comfort zones. Sometimes it's very important to like go out there, you know, expose yourself, visit new places, new territories, different cultures, different people. So important to, you know, widen your horizons and, uh, you know, like expose, you know, yourself and know a lot of, because the world is a big, big place, I tell you for sure. I mean, in Africa, I thought people should just behave and look like Africa. When I travel to the Middle East, it's a whole new other level, I tell you something, just different, you know? And that comes to my other um, step, which is um, learn a foreign language. And I'm not talking about your mother tongue, I'm not talking about English, because English does not count as a foreign language. So you gotta be able to learn another language, at least, at least. I have a lot of languages I speak. One of my new ones is um, Hindi. Yeah, popularly widely spoken in India because basically I'm currently in India. So I'm like learning this language, which is very much exciting and I get to practice it with locals here. Yeah, so keep it up. The, my next tip or advice is declutter your room, your home, your office workspace, I don't know. You just gotta be able to declutter. Basically, the idea is you gotta get rid of stuff that, you know, that are taking up much space, that are just there and you not touch them for like, in like a year or two. You gotta get rid of certain things in order to make way for new things that are about to come in your new age, in a new decade. So things like old clothes, old furniture, you just gotta let them go. It's just, I know it's painful and it's hard, Believe me, I know it's painful. Look, for example, there's certain hijabs that I don't want to throw up to date. They might look worn out, whatnot. I will not throw them, but like when I do, I get new ones, and I'm glad I did because it saves me a lot of space. You know, I'm just saying example. You know, it can go for anything, furniture, books, whatnot. Make sure you get rid of some things, and you know. And the next step is uh, next tip is create a budget and stick with it. 
Unfortunately, in this time and age, we hear a lot of people are in debts and credit card issues, and it's really sad because they actually spend more than what they are earning. So it's very important. For example, you get your money at the end of the month. You set up a budget, what you need to be paid for bills, you know, your groceries, your necessities like toiletries and whatnot, and keep some money aside for, you know, some, you know, creational activities, you know, restaurants, eating out, and make sure you save some money. And that brings me to my next step. You know, that's a better way of saving, and that is to learn how to invest your money. Yes, a lot of people are not aware of this, but it's important to start an investment plan you know at least like you're putting away money but you're putting away money that will make more money for you if that makes sense right I basically started a five-year plan and in five years time I'll have enough money to own a house and I'm really 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 excited really excited so something for you to think about next step is this is quite important okay get an eyeglass I know I have <laughs> I don't know, some people are just lucky, they don't ever need eyeglasses, but I knew I had this problem for a very long time with my eyes, you know, I cannot really see further distance, I can't read far uh, distance, you know, writings, and so I need glasses, and finally I'm getting the glasses, yeah, because first, it not only helps, you know, in you seeing better, but it also corrects the problems that you have in your eyes, so that's just amazing, I just got to learn that, which is weird, but cool, yeah. Next step is start taking supplements and multivitamins. We all know that, you know, our busy schedule, some of us are not able to eat well, you know, whatnot. So you need something extra, you know, to, you know, just to nourish you, to, to boost your immune system because it's very, very important to always keep uh, a, a, you know, steady flow of nutrients into your body because as you age, um, your body is basically like uh, more in need of these things and a lot of people when they age due to like the responsibilities For example, a mom she's very busy caring for her kids and the family She barely eats well, so it's very important The one easy way to do to get nutrients into body is to take supplements and that goes also for men So you should start taking supplements. It's very important. Make sure you ask your doctor what supplement is good for you Don't just take anything <laughs> And next up is Take a professional photo taken of you. Yes, you need a professional headshot photo because you might need it to post it in a lot of places. You can't always just have like a selfie here and there. Oh my god, I don't know, on Instagram and whatnot. You know, things like important documents. You need a professional headshot, not just an everyday looking passport size picture, no. So you should get a professional. And this also goes to like getting a you know professional family photo shoot i haven't done that yet but it's something i'm definitely looking forward to when i get all my families together and get a photo shoot because it's something that a lot of people take for granted you know we have selfies here and there but it's very important to have your family all together look your best and take that special photograph you don't know who knows 100 years from now your future generation will just look and be like that's my grandma that's my granddad <laughs> Okay, and next up is where are we? 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 Yes, learn to make a secret family recipe. If you already have a secret family recipe, perfect that and keep it. It's so important. So you can try and share it once you're there. I know I have created a secret family recipe dish. Oh my god, I'm so excited. A lot of people ask me, What are you putting this? Honey. That's why it's called secret. <laughs> Next up is do something that scares you. Yes. A lot of us are being safe all this year, not you know engaging in you know risk uh, that will most definitely change our life for the better. I know I have not taken a lot of risk, but the day that I took one, gosh, my life has really taking a different turn and I mean a positive one so it's very very important to try and take calculated risk okay do something you're scared of if you're scared of walking under the rain try if you're scared of taking the train try if you're scared of flying a plane just try you might never know <laughs> I'm just saying personally I'm afraid of heights 
so I decided to take a hike and uh, go up on the highest, 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 highest hill, or I think it's mountain, in the area of I'm staying in. And I also intend to go up one of the tallest buildings, and that is like about 118 story high. Just go up and take selfie for fun. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know. I'm still working up that courage, but I intend to do such. Next up is... Um, Drop bad habits. You definitely need to drop bad habits, guys. Bad habits is bad. Bad habits is meant for the past. Drop bad habits. My habit is being late. I don't know if it counts as a bad habit, but I'm literally late for literally everything. Some of them is not planned. I didn't ever plan to be late. Like, it just happened. Times just fly quicker when you intend to go places early, but then you end up getting late going there late so I work on working on that and the next is I don't know I don't know this I don't know this oh yeah I buy my nails I buy my nails I never have long nails I don't even have nails look at this I don't have nails so like um, I need to work on <laughs> this habit <laughs> I need to work on this habit <laughs> okay start a healthy eating habit it's so important in this time and age that we incorporate more healthier food into our diet or on our daily eating habit. Um, basically, I don't even want to call it a diet, no, or I would rather say it is more like healthy eating. And that is the new buzzword right now, healthy eating. You should just eat clean, you know, right portion for your body weight that you intend to achieve. You know, eat the correct food. You know, just because they say you gotta eat protein doesn't mean you always gotta eat meat or drink milk. There's so many other foods and you know, like drinks that have protein in them, even much higher than the ones in meat and milk. So you should just try and explore and try and you know find out what they are and incorporate that. You know, you can always eat still eat what you're eating, but again, at the right portion and add certain things that are much make it much more clean you know if you used to you know fry your let's say fish and uh, vegetable oil try switching it to olive oils or coconut oil trust me they're so delicious they're amazing and the next step is um, try to at least donate or at least be registered as a member in donating to at least three foundations three charity organizations you gotta be able to you know a part of me, you know, it's sort of like a zakat, you know, yeah. people do that once a year and whatnot, uh, make sure every month you're donating to at least three organizations, three foundations that are really important to you, that are, you know, fighting for a cause that are that's important, I know all causes are important, personally, I am part of the breast cancer um, fundraising, I'm also part of the, you know, like the Islamic um, women's empowerment you know, charity organization, I'm also part of the healthcare, so it's basically a lot of ways, so I just donate wherever, you can donate as much, but at least, at least three, or ten, thirty, thirty, thirty.